Ahmed. Ahmed. I guess I want to show you guys a quick tip. What am I doing? So, if you could draw boxes and rectangles, you could definitely draw any pose. Now that's like, wait, hold up, Ahmed. What are you talking about? Um, I mean, you could do this, right? Let's. Uh, uh, every time I tell people I'm an artist, they're like, "Oh, I can barely draw stick figures." Well, that's really all you need. I mean, here we go, doing a stick figure, a little bit more of an advanced stick figure, but. Um, so we know that this top one represents the rib gauge, ribs, and this one represents the pelvis or the hips, and then this represents the head, right? Um, and the rest are limbs, it's self-explanatory. So if we were to draw those in perspective, which I uh, urge you to practice doing, you know, maybe here's the ribs, right? And maybe here's the hips. It's sort of rotated, so you have a bit of a twist. And maybe here's the head, right? And we see the top part of the head. And here's an arm. Here's another arm. Maybe they're holding a sword, you know? Um, and this hand is coming out forward, something like that. Uh, and then this is like, you know, the leg. Here's another leg, and it's going down into perspective. Uh, there you go, look at that. You know, it's dynamic. Um, and we could turn down the opacity and be like, well, yeah, here's a head, and here's a shoulder, and uh, here's a tricep, and then a bicep, and the forearms, and the hands. Um, but you see how easy it'll, it is when you break it down to very simple shapes, you know, three-dimensional. Uh, rectangles and cubes, and not cubes because they're not perfectly square, but um, doing this allows you to come up with really cool uh, poses pretty quickly. Now this is really, really awful, um, but it illustrates the point, so let's do one more. Like Maybe uh, the hips are like that, and this one it doesn't always have to be in 3D, um, and maybe this, uh, the ribs are like this, and they're angled upward a bit, right? So it's like going like that. And maybe the head is tilted. And the arm is going down like this, and then another arm is going like that. Uh, let's erase that arrow. And there's a spine. Well, <laughs> indication of a spine, because that's not what spines look like. And. You know, like something like that, and that, and like what happens is you automatically your brain kind of figures out where the balance is. So you wouldn't put like both legs going like this, right? Um, although it's pretty cool. It looks like the person's about to fall, and it does make it seem a bit interesting. But if you want to make it look balanced, and you can um, put all the weight on maybe this leg, you know, so it's like that, and then the load path if you understand structural engineering, you know, goes from here, and then that way, and then goes down to this foot. Um, but we don't, we don't have to get into that. And that allows for this leg to be kind of loose and, you know, going like that, like twiddly doo doo da da da, -da. Um, And, you know, you could sketch on top of that, and there you go. Um, I don't always do this, but it's, it's a pretty easy way to set up uh, a figure. 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 Um, yeah. One concern you might have is uh, um, the proportions. So, like, you might kind of make the ribs a bit too wide or something, and then you make um, the hips like, you know, like that, and you're just like, why aren't my proportions right? What's going on? Um, although this actually works for, you know, big hulking figures uh, like the Hulk. Um, so, it, 
a, a bunch of different configurations do work. Uh, but if you are um, worried about like the distance, for example, like let's say you do have the right sizes, but you put your hips way down here, which by the way also works for if it's you intended by your character design. But for a normal human, um, this is uh, way too far down, and it looks kind of weird and awkward. But uh, after a lot of practice and, and you know just by like figuring out like the ratios by doing this uh, exercise you uh, end up um, getting a pretty good feel of how far things should be so I'd recommend doing like a bunch of these just one after the other do a bunch of bad ones on purpose and keep practicing and yeah you just um, keep sketching different ideas and uh, hopefully this helped I mean I don't know if, if I were you I'd just you know subscribe